सम पीपल विल लव यू ऑन कंडीशन सम पीपल माइट प्रिटेंड टू लव यू बट गॉड इज द ओनली वन हु हैज लव यू ट्रूली एंड अनकंडीशनली दिस इज वाई डियर चाइल्ड ऑफ गॉड इफ यू थिंक दैट यू ऑल्सो लव गॉड ट्रूली एंड यू नेवर वॉन्ट टू डिसरिस्पेक्ट हेम और हिज वर्ड्स then please listen to this message with an alert mind see god is to be loved god is to be respected god is to be honored but god is not to be mocked often times we can deliberately sin often times we can deliberately disrespect all because we think that the nature of god is a kind nature and some of us think that his nature will overlook our wrongs higher this is not the truth god cannot tolerate the sin although he does not hate the sinner but he hates the sin he hates wickedness He hate evil skins. Psalm chapter 5 verse 4 tells us, For you are not a god who is pleased with wickedness. With you evil people are not welcome. So, you see, the Lord is too righteous and holy for allowing sin to enter his kingdom of heaven. He is all loving but he is not to be mocked or to be treated with disrespect. God knows that his faithful people like you could never disrespect him. He knows they can't even think ever of doing it. But there are many new people in the new generations who never hesitate to disrespect God. who speak evil words towards God and who even question his existence this is a clear sign that we are heading toward the end days we are building the road to it with our own hands do you know how by not taking the charge and the responsibility of teaching other people the truth by not making them aware of the goodness of god by not sharing the word of god with them parents and teachers are mainly responsible for it we as believers in christ must teach our children to be selfless and to be kind to others regardless of how they treat you we must teach them to thank god when they do well in school or in any other aspect of their lives we must teach them to pray before eating tell them that they must never participate in things that promote or support anything sinful and contrary to the bible remember dear child of god people have already started choosing to get modern by forgetting their true purpose by forgetting the good morals and commandments that our ancestors have been taught by god himself they are choosing to go in the opposite direction of what leads to god and these dangerous people can affect your mind too these evil people can provoke you to join their evil groups and to provoke you to live the way you want especially in the way that goes against the morals and laws of god this is why you need to read the bible and dwell on the word of god daily to know what thing is sinful and what goes against god's character 
seek to put into practice what you read in the Bible and repent whenever you slip or mess up. The Bible is useless in our lives if we do not allow it and apply it in our lives. This means as Jesus teaches us to love others, as he teaches us to let go of sinful habits and behaviors, as he teaches to share the gospel, as he teaches to pray for our enemies and many more things, we should be seeking to put all this into our practice. And the best way to put all these into our daily life is through prayer. Remember, when you seek God in prayer for something, never just pray once or twice and then never pray for that thing again. Why? Because Jesus teaches us that we should be praying and never cease. Bearing in mind that you are a follower of God, you must pray at least every day. And as part of those prayers, you can be praying, asking God to lead and guide you and the people around you. Always remember that you only stop praying for something when you have received the answer to it. So join me in this bold prayer right now and let's pray. O Heavenly Father, great is your faithfulness, great is your love. You are worthy to be respected, you are worthy to be loved, you are worthy to be praised. God, I thank you for reminding me of my purpose. I thank you for reminding me of my responsibilities and I thank you for guiding my steps towards you. Father, you are merciful. Your mercies are new every morning and your love is truly unfailing. Father, I know that my strength is limited. This is why I need your love. I need your strength. I need you to sustain me. I need you to protect me and help me fight my daily battles. I need your guidance to teach others around me about your mighty works and powers. God, help me not to give room to sin or disrespect towards anyone in my life. Lord, please convict my heart through the power of the Holy Spirit and bestow your favors upon my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Please do write in the comments if you understand your responsibilities and show your faithfulness to God. God bless you. Amen.